Hello, I am Benedict from Tanzania. I am a fellow student under the Lee jong Wook Fellowship Program 2024. I am a doctor by profession. Here also I'm doing my master degree studies. Yeah, this place is a research laboratory where we do most of the experiments here. And uh, I can show you, we have different parts here. Uh, this is the, these are the tables. And I have my table somewhere there. So you can see. So this is my table where I prepare and do my studies. Yeah, here we do many experiments. Some of us deals with the neuro organoids, but myself I'm doing with the brain. As you know, the brain has a small, small parts and, they, and, they, and they, you can't see them by naked eyes, but you have to do some of the procedures for, for, for visualization. Hello, Eunice. How are you? I'm good. And particularly, I have good friends. And we have a very good professor who is uh, instructing a lot and interacting with the students. Yeah, this is the place where I store some of our uh, tissues especially the brain tissues. After having the brain and cutting into small slices, this is the, the storage of the brain. I have the solution inside here. So actually I receive the brain, which is the hole. Then I have to cut it by using the microtome here inside here. When I put them on this table, I start step by step the process of preparing the brain slices for imaging. This is the pipette. And I have the tissue here. I put it here in the new solution. Now I have my tissues in the new solution. I put the tissues on the shaker. This is for shaking, for washing. So I switch this one on. It is for washing. And I do this. Hello everyone. Good morning. My name is Bajid Suleman Kionaboini. My final uh, project uh, on collaborative practice for safer and smarter healthcare, uh, teamwork and collaboration for health professionals in, uh, from chapter five uh, of graduate studies for, healthcare, for health professional education. Today I was presenting uh, my final project for in, uh, interprofessional education and uh, leadership and I dealt with interprofessional teamwork and collaboration. There are some things in the beginning I didn't do well. I think I skipped uh, some phases or some, some stages, but at the end I managed to, to explain all I wanted to do. So the challenges and considerations uh, we might face, we predict that we might face uh, resistance due to professional silos and hierarchy, schedule, uh, schedule conflicts across departments, maintaining engagement during simulation, uh, ensuring psychological safety for open, uh, feedback. Thank you very much for your nice presentation. Everything is clear. You finish your presentation on time, mm -hmm. and uh, so you present uh, finally. You tell us about the challenge and how you handle it. That challenge. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for uh, such a nice question. And when we go to the challenges we anticipate to face. Uh, we might have, we said we might have resistance due to professional silos and hierarchy. So the professional silos I'm talking about are those departments. As well, uh, I like it, his speech, it was good. Yeah, and the presentation design also was. Uh, actually, I like the, the structure 
the interactive activities. The, the session is well structured with teaching and learning modality, your level of as, as the educator, something special for everyone to learn. But I'm, I'm, I'm still very disappointed. You know what, first when I was talking about uh, and it flew away, so I was like the, 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 the. <laughs> And we didn't notice that because it was yeah, not written yeah. anyway. You so didn't just... see it, but you know, somewhere it, it cut me, like uh, it, it lost my, my flow. But I think uh, after, after this, uh, I lost it. Yeah, so <laughs> I was lost in the middle somewhere there. Yeah. I think that it shows how your presentation skills are good. Thank you. So yeah, thank that you. tells. And now I'm I'm done with the presentation, and I'm heading to the place where I stay. But uh, on the way, most of the times when I'm free, I like to so any other photos of things that I like when I see all the time or all the places I go. I, I normally have my camera with me. I think I have it here. Here, here is my camera, and this is what I use to to take uh, photos most of the times. Uh, sometimes I make real videos and upload them to uh, YouTube or I upload them to Instagram, um, my Instagram page. Yeah, so that's how I, I, that's how I do with photos. Uh, photos, I like uh, photography because it helps me see the world in a different perspective. And it is that difference that makes me want to do better in life. So it, 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 it motivates me, it motivates me, yeah. This is nice. Here, this is the Confocal Microscope. One among the advanced microscope. These are among the very important equipment for doing experiments and research. Say so you can, can you switch off Kido a little? Switch off, then you will take a switch off. see those ah. uh, channels. Okay. When I had a little challenge about the, the settings with our microscope, so she had her own settings there. I asked her to, to save her work and to, to do some changes so I can, I can put mine for taking my, my images. So it may take some few minutes Do you see? Do you see anything? So these are the blood vessels inside the brain. So I have to take this image. I take it in the computer for processing and analysis. Then I can have the images on my computer. You may not see it well because of the light. I can have the images. Then these images, I take them for processing just for analysis. Yeah, for today, I think I'm done with my experiments. So, then we come here, I can sit, I can have a little breath, I can see my images, and they try to adjust them for a very good visibility. From there, I can do analysis, but also we take a cup of coffee on these tables. I would tell myself, congratulations for having started hard. I know that my life will change. Eventually, it, has, it is already uh, showing uh, changes already in, in future uh, because the world is changing and the needs for, needs for healthcare are changing rapidly. So it means that we have to keep on preparing, keep on preparing. So I think in future, I'm to engage in medical education mostly and mostly medical research to come up with uh, evidence-based innovations that would change how we see healthcare and health practice, healthcare practice. So for 10 years, maybe I would be a, a medical researcher, a better medical researcher than now, yeah.
I want to say to myself that I, I need to see myself having uh, transformed the life of many people, particularly children suffering from the disease I'm studying. So again, transforming their life by offering the, the appropriate treatment after discovering and getting awareness of the disease, but also that way I will be contributing much into the health of my people in my country.